Hey there, this is Debbie from Deb's Thing. This is my new design. Um, it was kind of inspired by some of the techniques from my amazing, in my own personal opinion, uh, what is this again? Oh yeah, Mei, Li, Mei Ling. <laughs> I've made so many designs in the last week, I can't keep track. So a little bit of the technique from this, I did a little something different with it. And it pretty much comes out to uh, take on the slip knot. And if you can, you can see these here, I really, really love. I wish I had made it full length, but it was my experimental. Kind of looks like a, a stingray, doesn't it, with this tail? But yeah, that's going to go like that. So pretty much I did slip knots, and I just used the tie-dye um, jellies. And that's what it looks on this side. It's pretty interesting, too, so I would consider this reversible. And um, I thought I would do, instead of black and white, I'd do black and gray. And the, um, oh, the glitter bands from Michaels. But, bleh. <laughs> blah, blah. Do not like it. Glad I did a little test run on it. So... What I decided to do, and I'm jumping in with this color scheme. Oh yeah, and it's five bars across, all parallel, and I've got it set up double length. So I'm going for it. This is gonna take a lot of bands. So what I decided to do for the black and white, there, um, each row is going to have two layers. Um, so what I did was on the bottom, you know, black, 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 white, white, and then I used the opposite color on top of those as a second layer. So for my black and white, I'm using the jelly yellow and green. Oops, get a little more centered here. And then for the knots, I'm going to do kind of a pattern, um, and I'll be using the black and white opaque bands. So let's get going. Let's see. So I'm going to my on screen. Okay. Place two bands like that to retrieve the later. And I'm going to use yellow for my kind of main border color. Or do I want to use green? I'm going to use I'm going for yellow. Okay. So what you're going to do from here is this row, this row, and this row. You are going to go all the way up to the very end. I don't think I need to show you too much. It's just basic band layout, okay? So these three rows, yellow, or you know, your first color. Oops. Come on. This one's out of place. Hold on a second. I gotta wrestle. Oh, come on, you're stuck, aren't you? Okay. Sorry about that. She's just not where she should be. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. okay. So, these three rows one, two, three, the two outer in the middle. Just Fill them up all the way to the end. All right? And then, before I come back on screen, I will have you pick your second color, and then the two remaining rows, just do the same with a different color. You can do all, all of them the same color, um, you know, where you see the little white trick in that here. If, you know, I were to do it black, it would all be black. And then this would be black and those little white specks up there. So if you want to try it all the same color, just load all five bars the same color. Okay? I'll do that. And then I'll be back to show you the next step. This is how the loom should look. Uh, you can use, you know, any colors you want. But um, to give this effect... This is how I'm doing it. Like I said, um, you know, play around with a 
a small segment of colors and see what you like and go from there. So the next thing we're going to do, so they won't be on camera very long, now we're going to do a second row, but the opposite. So wherever the yellow um, rows are, now you will put the green. Okay, all the way to the end. Yes, you guessed it. On the two green rows, you will putting you will be putting the yellow. Okay? So now just go all the way up with the opposite color. Okay? Real simple. Just go all the way to the end. Boop. with the alternating, you know, swapping the colors. Do you know, I think I forgot to tell you guys the name of this bracelet. I showed it to my daughter Olivia, and I asked her to think of the first word that popped into her head, what, you know, came to her mind, and she said stitches. I thought, how cute. So stitches it is. Um, I was going to say something else. Now I forgot. And, oh yeah, the reference number. I always, you know, five this, three that. Five, you know, the number is always indica indicative of how many bars I use across. And the other numbers are just my catalog system. And of course this will be five something, but um, I don't know where I am in my numbering, lettering system. So... Um, that's really not a, nothing for you guys to worry yourself about. That is strictly for my reference, my cataloging, like, for example. I think I've shown this before, but bought this pretty much all except for these back here. These cards are all designs I've made. Um, some of them have been published, some have not. So, I do that, and then... It just, it just helps me keep, it's just my way of keeping track of things. So anyhow, it's, for you guys, it's called stitches. And I'm telling you what, these colors made my eyes hurt. <laughs> um, one of the reasons I chose this color combo, um, I want to use the yellows. I, I almost never use the jelly yellow, yellow jellies. So I thought, I'm using those. I'm going to give them their turn to be in the spotlight. And then I wanted to pick another jelly to go with it. And I think any one of them, any of the jellies would look nice. So I picked green. Nice springtime and everything. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to finish off this end, the end here, and cap it um, before placing the horizontal bands. So you're going to go across like that and then come the other way. And then I will be using uh, two bands to cap. Oh, yeah. Put the two yellow. And they are going to just go on this middle pin right here. So you double it over. And just put it on there. So we can just forget about the rest of that. Now. We are going to be using four bands across, and I'll show you what order to place them. But for the tie dye, it was easy. I just placed them all randomly. This one, in the middles, I, I alternated, you know, two colors, and then I use, you know, the opposite. So when I use blue here, I use the orange, or I use orange and blue. I'm going to keep that same. Um, Green. But, you know, I just, this is how I came up with it. See, I used green, then yellow, yellow, then green. Here, I was messing with maybe more colors and seeing what I come up with, but I decided I didn't want it that chaotic. So, I'm going to keep with this, this scheme right here, and I'm going to use black and white. I thought, that would, that might, that'll probably photograph well. So, to start out, this is how it, it'll go. I'll do the left in the middle, and 
and then the right, and then on either side, you'll be using white. And then you'll do the opposite. The big thing is to do this band, then this band, and then the outers. Okay, so whatever is the most, you know, um, convenient for you. I might just do middle, middle, and just go, you know, go up and do the first, the middles, and then do the outsides, whatever you feel like doing. But this is how it works, okay? So it'll always be this band, then this one, and then the two outers. On the left, the right, the outsides. Left right, outsides. And you will continue all the way up to this last row. See you in a second. This is what it looks like. I think this is an interesting design because I think you could just do so much with it. Uh, you can make all the parallel um, band, oops, bands the same, and then do something completely different on the vertical ones. Um, I don't. It's, I just think this is a design because of its, you know, horizontal and vertical symmetry. You know, just simplicity. I just think. I can't wait to see all your renditions because I think this could be cleverly done in many, many different ways. So, let's get going. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's not difficult, but you do have to keep in mind of which direction to go. But once you get the rhythm, it you know, by the end of doing this short, short one, um... I had it figured out. So if I can do it, you can do it. How's that? So we're going to go in and grab the band on the top, bring it over, reach down here, pull the top bands back, grab this band, and bring it out. And then you will do the same on this side. Just making sure you grab just the correct band. Oops. Now, I'm going to put this at a little bit of an angle, it's just easier for me to grab. You're going to go all across these five rows, grab the top band only, and bring it up. As I said, if you have done my Mei Ling bracelet, the one I keep, I will, you will hear about in several tutorials because I'm doing these kind of one after another and I will publish them. Um, this might indeed, ooh, I'm gonna, flashing red light. You know what? I'm coming back. I'm losing my battery power. I will continue in a second. Okay, I'm fully charged, ready to go. As I was saying, Mei Ling may be indeed my favorite design of all times that I've made, and I've made well over 200. Not all have been published, obviously, but I'm working on it. Um, anyways, it's the technique is based off of what I did here, which I think might be a new technique, which 
hopefully it is and I can take credit for it. Yeah. So my goal is trying to come up with new things. So let me show you what I did. Okay. You will first take this band. So the outsides are going to go in and then when we do the inside bands they'll be going towards the out. So outside in and as I did with the May Lang bracelet, I reached in and grabbed it and brought it over like this. Okay, I kind of twist, tied the single band in a knot. But in this case, we're pulling this off so as to give the slip knot there. So it's a slip knot which has been done and it's you know done on the um, fishtail and it's it's been incorporated in. Um, the loom bracelets, the loom designs, <clears throat> but I think this might be a different take on it, a different way to do it. I don't know. You let me know if it's my new thing. Yay! If not, meh. It looks cool, right? So, we'll take this out here, and then you'll go back to this other band and just let it go. So then, you'll go to the middle, take the one that's on the top, Bring it towards the outside of your loom, reach down and grab the other half of it, bring it over here, and then let it go. Let it go. I will not sing the Frozen song that is by that name. One, I will lose my credit because these are advertised you see the little advertisements at the beginning, and I sing horribly. <laughs> so now we have that row done. We're going to keep doing the same thing all the way up. Bring only the first, the top band of each row. Very easy to get, especially rows two and four because there's nothing there. It's all out in the open. And I'll do this a few times and I'll, I'll do this one really slowly. You start with the outer band. I start on the left. Bring it over to the next door pin. Then reach down and grab its other half of itself and bring it over here. But instead of leaving it that, you know, leaving it and moving on as I did in the Mei Ling design, you are going to take the the one you didn't just slip over and let it go. So now you're on the outside, so you're going to bring it in, reach down, bring this one over, and then come back and let go of this one. Now when you're in the middle, you're going to go towards the outside. And reach down, grab its other half, and bring it over to that pin. Now you're going to take this one and let it go. Now you're going to go in, and remember you're starting from the middle, going to the outward edge. Reach down, grab its other half, put it on this pin, let it go. <laughs> I'm going to reach inside here, take the top band only, bring it forward. I think I'm going to like these colors. I mean, you can't go wrong when you do black and white on anything, seriously. It's cool. It's awesome. It just works. Okay, so we have those five. Starting on your left, bring the outward band in. Reach down, grab its other half, bring it back to that pin, and then let it go. <laughs> I get really silly with that. Go on the outside, bring it inward, reach under, grab its other half, bring it back here, and then go to the other pin, let it go. 
Oh, that's probably going to get sick really fast. All right. Now that you're going on using, um, you're going to loop the inward pans. You're going to go from the inside outward, reach under, grab its other half, bring it back to this pin, and then come back here and let it go. Reach in here, bring it outward, reach under, grab its other half, bring it back to its other pin, and then come back over here and let it and let it be released. Reach down, grab the top band only. Am I still on? Okay, I'm still on camera. Or on screen, I should say. I know I'm on camera. Whether you can see me or not is always up for debate. <laughs> okay. Starting on the outside, bring this band inward. Reach under, grab its other half, bring it outward. Then come back here and take this one off the pin and just let it go. You're on the outside over here, bring it inward. Reach in, grab its other half, bring it outward. Then come back to this one and let it go. Now that this one's on top, we're going from the inside toward the outside, reaching under, grabbing its other half, bring it over here, then come back and let this one go. Going back to the middle, grab this remaining band, bring it outward, grab its other half, bring it back here, and then come over here and let it go. Continue on to the next row. Lift, bring just the top bands in each row forward. Come on. Alrighty. I don't know if this will be the last one I'm going to show or not. Hopefully you have enough you can go back. Starting outward, bring it inward. Reach under, grab its other half, bring that out and over to this pin. And then release this one. Take the outward, bring it in, reach down and grab its other half, bring it over to this pin, and then come back here. And let it go to create a slip knot. In the middle, you're going outwards, you're reaching down, bring it over, and then release. Starting in the middle, bring it over, reach inside, get its other half, bring that over, and release. All right, I'm going to show it one more time, and then I'm going to kick back with my special foam mat, um, memory foam pillow so I can lean back against it, be more comfy, turn on the TV, watch something pointless. <laughs> well, I finish this up. So again, you're going across and just bringing the top row up to the next pin. Starting from the outside, bring this inward reach in and grab its other half and bring it over and then pull this off. The reason I came up and decided I wanted to use this, if you've made my mailing bracelet, you've probably had it accidentally slip off when you did this and um, you had to put it back on. I've had this, I've had it happen so hmm, maybe I should try that on purpose. Like when I do um, what I would do, I'd, I'd be doing something and this would slip off. I'm like, oh no, 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 I gotta put it back on so I can move on. I, you know, put it back on. But, um, so let's try it on purpose and see what happens. And so this is what I came up with, and I'll probably play around with this 
again because I really really like it I think it looks awesome and then even this side um you've got kind of this side that these are raised up so it's a little more dimensional but doesn't that look cool cool man cool groovy yeah you can say groovy because it's tie-dye groovy man peace peace love okay bring it towards the center and grab its other half, bring it back, let it go. Go back to, what is that? Wait, I did, I did, I did that wrong, didn't I? Hold on, I'm going back, something's not right here. I am again pushing myself too far, but that's not right. Because this little thing should be on the other side. I did it backwards. Oops. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know what's what's going on here. You take the inward out like this. Oh yeah, you let go of that one. Okay. I don't know what I just did. You saw it. I don't remember it. Go from the inward out. Me is tired. I always do too many of these. And then let go of this one. Alright, since I screwed... Since, excuse me. Since I made a mistake, I'm going to do one more just so you have another flawless execution <laughs> to observe. Okay. Bring all five of the top bands up. Starting with the outward, bring it inward, reach under, grab its other half, bring it outward. And then take this one and let it go. Going from the outside, go in, reach under, grab its other half, bring that outward, and then let this one go. Reach in the center, go outward, bring its other half in. And then let this one go. Go inside, bring it outward, grab its other half, bring it over here, and let this one go. All right, I'm going to let you do the rest, and for those who are advanced and can figure this out, after we do all that, we'll just be looping up all these, all five of the, um, these underneath here. Okay, but I will come back and show you how to do it for those who are not quite as advanced and need to um, see what I'm doing. All right, see you in a sec. So that took a little while, didn't it? This is what your loom should look like. Now before I go on to the next step, once you did these last four slip knots here, Make sure that you reach in here, because I forget, and do the last um, five top bands. Like this. And now we will simply go back to the beginning and just do the five single chains. Now, I, to keep it even, I don't know if the tension matters, but they do the go up and do all one side. Then I'd go back and do the other side over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So then you'll do that one all the way up. Then I would come in and do the middle. Alright, so do that one all the way up. Then 
do either side of from the middle, you know, your final two rows. So you'll just do all the way up into yeah, you're there. And then I'll show you how to finish it off. Alrighty. Have fun. Welcome back everybody. We're in the home stretch. Oh, this seems to have taken a while to do. I don't know if longer than other bracelets, but my head is pounding. And I think that's making it seem longer. Alright, so now we've got everything looped up. Now we'll finish it off by bringing these horizontal bands. Oops. Not the one. To the center. There's two on each side. Just make sure I get them. Oh, did I get the wrong one? Hold on. I can't really see here. I think I grabbed the wrong. So now I'm going to grab these two. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I need a um, large clip. Hold on. I've got one right here. Alrighty. So I'm going to reach under and grab these two. It's kind of hard to see. I'll put my head right in front of the camera. So I'm going to stretch those so it is easy to place a clip. And I'm pretty sure I've got all the pieces. Okay, so we'll go through the most exciting part of the video. <laughs> Taking it off. Take it off. Take it all off. The looms that is. Yes, my fingers are sore. You hear me complain on other tutorials. <laughs> the time I get to this point. Oh. All right. I like to take my time in this. Um, there was only one bracelet I think I, of all my designs that I think worked better when you just pulled it straight off the loom and that was my Indian Point which was named after the campground my parents bought after I finished seventh grade and I lived from eighth grade through high school at. I really didn't like moving from the state I came from but um, where the campground was it was my uncle's and it was in this home, my parents home state so pretty much all my cousins and aunts and uncles live there. So that was great to see them on a more regular basis. And living on a big lake and having access to all the stuff. It was a fun, fun thing. Okay, that's the back side. And it's weird. It's not this one. I don't know why, but this one, it seems pretty much flat. But this On this one, it's very, you know, there's ridges and valleys. This one's kind of all the same. So anyways, I do like how it looks though. I like this one better, but I think this looks really cool. It's very fun. Uh, I know a lot of people are making really wide bracelets. Oh, that's going to be very photogenic, I think. Very, very poppy color. So anyhow, let me see. Let me compare, take a second. Yeah. I like how it looks. I just don't understand. Maybe, probably because these are opaques. And these are fatter jellies. I don't know. I can't see the difference as much as far as the interesting, you know, these two are raised and this one's recessed and 
The outer ones are recessed. But anyhow, what did I name this? Oh yeah, Stitches. <laughs> My daughter named it Stitches. Cute name, cute design, I think. And I do like this interesting color scheme. So if you like this design and like my other designs and want to see more, be sure to subscribe to Deb's Thing, as always. And you can hit the little like button if you like the design. Leave your comments. I do try to answer them either on, what's that channel? YouTube. <laughs> and of course, you can check me out on YouTube at Deb's Thing. And be sure to tag your renditions, hashtag stitches bracelet, all one, you know, all of the letters next to each other, no spaces, no nothing else, just hashtag stitches bracelet to make sure I see it. And then it's, it's nice because then everybody who hashtags it, there's a page for all the bracelets, um, renditions, and I really like having a page to be able to go and see all the renditions. All right, very good. I do think this will be the last tutorial. I think this is my third in a row. I've lost track and it's after midnight. So time to bid you adieu. Good night, everyone. I love you all. Thanks for watching. See you later.